Hey there, it's Ben Housel, and here in this tutorial, we're going to have a look at how we split up um, either our titles. Um, so, if we're adding one title to our timeline, then sometimes we want to reuse that in different locations on the timeline. So, we're going to have a look at a couple of different quick methods we can use to do that. So, if these kinds of tips and tricks are useful to you in Final Cut Pro 10, then please do hit the subscribe button and the notifications button so you get a little email when uh, I post a new video. Um, otherwise, let's dive into it. So, here in Final Cut Pro, we're going to have a look at how we take one title and make it into multiple titles in a few different ways. Now, the first way of doing this, um, if we have our title nested in a connect storyline, then basically we can select the storyline, um, not the title. This means when we select this, that we select the storyline and also the transitions that are in there as well. Um, so if I go to edit and copy and come ahead in my timeline, I can go to edit and paste, and that will paste all of that clip. So the key is selecting the connected storyline to do that. Now, there's a couple of other ways of doing this as well. So one way um, that I'll use, and really this depends on how you're working um, in your edit, um, is to use a mixture of the blade tool and the position tool to actually make some gaps um, in your edit here. So if we come here, we're looking at the position tool and the blade tool. So P and B are the shortcuts for these. And basically, if we grab the blade tool, we can slice here, and then if we grab the position tool, we can open up a gap between these two titles. So if we want a gap between one title and the next, then this is a way of opening up that gap between those titles. I'm just gonna delete this clip down here. The other way of doing this, um, if we're on the position tool, hover over our title and do Command and B, and that will blade our clip. And now with the position tool, we can just drag it ahead in time, and that will separate it from the other clips. So these slugs that we see here um, are handy too. Um, they allow us, if we go back to the selection tool, to modify the timing of our clips by shortening them or lengthening them. And then now once we've got all these three titles split, we can select them individually, modify the, the wording of them up here. And we have nice different titles, but with the same style in our edit in Final Cut Pro 10. And one other way of doing this, um, we don't have to just use the position tool to break up a clip. If we already have these slugs in here, then if we hold down the Alt key, we can also duplicate a slug, and that will then also split the two clips into two different clips. So there's just lots of different ways of moving things around in your timeline by flipping between the blade tool, the position tool, and the selection tool um, for making different modifications. Um, but it's a nice way of setting up one single title and then adjusting it and splitting it up so you can change how that flows and change the wording really quickly and easily throughout the timeline. And one last thing we can do here once we've added these spaces between our clips is add some transitions. So if we click um, on either the clip or on the slug between these two clips, we can use the shortcut Command and T to add the default transition there. So that'll mean there's a nice fade out of the transition um, and then a fade in of the transition when we next want it to pop up. That will mean we have a nice fade out of the title and then at the next edit point, a nice fade in of the title um, between those two edit points. We can also as well, if we highlight multiple slugs, so I'm highlighting a couple of slugs there, hold down Command and T and it will add transitions to all those points. If you wanna speed up or slow down your transitions. We can also do this here too by selecting multiple transitions. And I'm holding down the command key to select these multiple transitions. If we do this for all of these and we hold down control and tap E, it will bring up the duration option in the time code bar in the middle here. So if we want our transitions to last for one second, we would type in one period and hit enter. And that will make all of our transitions last for one second. So We've got lots of options there, so Control D, and if we type in 2.15, it's gonna make each of those transitions run for two and a half seconds. So we're gonna slow down the fade of those transitions. So you can see we've got a nice level of control when we've got these transitions in there. If when we've put in the transitions, we wanna extend or kind of move where they sit within our connected storyline, uh, then we can hover over the marker either side um, of the, the center point of the transition, and we can extend out the slug or extend out the transition itself. 
can also roll the edit as well. So if we roll the edit here, it will allow that edit to roll between those two edit points. So we've got some nice ways in which we can modify how the transition is aligning up um, with your edit with the layers below and also the duration of those transitions or in fact the duration of the titles themselves. If you found this video useful then please do hit the subscribe button uh, and the notifications button um, and also leave any comments that you have or any questions about Final Cut Pro 10 in the comments below and I look forward to seeing you on the next tutorial.